Hi, uh, I'm Taylor Pinnell. I'm a fourth year biomed photo student and uh, today we're doing cyanotypes with uh, Paul Schwartz in the Ronald Francis lab. Um, today basically what we're going to do is we're taking chemicals and mixing them together, putting them on paper and making contact prints with negatives or objects that we have and they're going to make blueprints. And, uh, so this so. is going to be cyanotype and um, I've come to um, the RIT from the point of view of chemistry, so I taught in the photographic chemistry uh, uh, portion of the photo tech program. Historical photographic processes was something that uh, was interest to the students and I had enough background to piece it together. So among those earliest photo processes is cyanotype and it's pretty accessible. An iron based UV sensitive chemical that we can wash onto paper for making prints. And you just put it on, it's contact printing. You put it on, close it up, and you're set to go. Bring it out in the sun and you'll watch it, if you got the patience, but you'll watch it um, change in color. It'll be this greenish, yellowish concoction of these two mixed. Then we got to stabilize that image so that, it, um, so that when we're done, um, the, um, the finished image stays put and these cyanotypes that have been originally created since 1860s they stay put, they're still around. The Eastman House has hundreds of them in their archives and they're as good as they were before. These are very stable um, pigments that are formed, this bluish pigment, Prussian blue.